Hi guys, welcome back to Laravel A tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to connect Laravel database and how to fetch records from database. So in our project directory, when you install Laravel, we will get all the files and folders here. We can see there is a config section and inside the config we have database.php and another file that is in, in our root directory we will get .env file. So I will show you how this is working and what is the purpose of these things. So in a database.php we will get the default connection that is MySQL. Actually I will going to show you the MySQL connection but we can connect with SQLite and PGSQL and SQL Server any other things and there is some configuration that is migrations variable there are Redis and many of these things now I am going to share the MySQL database so inside the connection array we will get the MySQL things so here we can see there is a driver MySQL and the URL database URL the database host the port database name password and all those things is coming from env variable that means all this variable will set from dot env file so we'll get the same things that database url host port the name and uh, db username db password all will get inside the env file so here is my env file here my db connection is mysql and my host is 127.0.0.1 and my database name is suppose i am providing my database name is laravel 8 and my username is root and my password is root so i need to create a database with a laravel 8 so this is my database and I am going to create one database the name is Laravel 8. So if we configure these things then automatically your project will connect with this database. Now I am going to create one table inside the Laravel 8 database. So I am creating a table suppose a student table and there is four column okay. Then I am setting the ID that is integer. I am providing suppose 11 and it, it will be auto increment. And after that, I am setting the name and email and number. So, in the name field, I am setting the bracket 255 and the email, I am also setting the bracket 255. And the number I am providing, suppose now integer, and suppose I am getting this 12, and just save it. And we can see the new table is created, it is student table. There is the structure of this table. And if you browse, we can see there is the table is empty. So I will show you how to fetch records from this database. So, first, we need to insert some data to this table. Suppose in name, I am provided the name that is Sachin and the email is Sachin at the rate gmail.com number is 123456 and I am creating and I am inserting another things that is John and the email is John at the rate gmail.com and the number is 9876544 just to just to show you how it's working so now we can see there is two records now i will create a controller and inside the controller i will fetch these records from database so to create a controller we need to use php artisan make controller suppose i am creating student controller so controller is successfully created and so now i am checking from my files directory so i will get one file inside the app http controllers and there is a student controller so i am creating a function that is public function 
get all student to use the database related things we need to use the db so we need to add illuminate support packets db so now we need to get the record so suppose i am taking a variable suppose students and we need to call the db class and i need to provide the table name here so my table name is the student just copy and paste it here and i want to get all records so i will provide here the gate now i want to create a view and inside that view i want to display the result so so return view suppose my view name is student and i want to pass the value to that view using the compact so my variable name is students now i need to create a student view so just go to resource and decide the views and the create views that's new file student dot blade dot php so just create the html5 element so this is the html file element i am providing the title that is student list and inside the body i want to display this result suppose i am taking the in h1 i am displaying the student list as a heading and we will print the all student data inside the ul statement so inside the ul i will use the for each loop to display all student data so to for each the variable name is students as student and i'm ending the for each loop now i am taking the li tag to print the value so here we can write the name is, is dollar student name in the same way the email is student email and the number is student number so i am providing the value here the now we need to call this function from route so how we can route so how we can call this so to call this we need to use route and i am using the gate method and we need to provide the url that is in url we will get this after that the name of the controller that is student controller and the class and after that we need to provide the function name and in last i am setting the name that is student or list and another things so we need to register the student controller here so we need to use ab http controllers and the name of the controller is student controller so just use the student link to view the output so if i write the student link here sorry i got a mistake here the s will be small letter so if i write the student link here we can see the output that is name is sochin email is sochin at the gmail the number is one two three four five six so it's all about how to configure database and how to set your environment and after that how to create database and tables and how to call and how to face data and to display from the views hope you understand this video please like and subscribe my channel next day i will discuss about laravel model thanks for watching